What's up everybody, it's SFMZA here, bringing you another video to help you improve your lo-fi game. In this video I'll be going over how to make a melody sound full in your mix to give you that lush sound everybody's always looking for. But before we go into making some melodies, let's take a quick coffee break and do the ritual for the day which is to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that you're always in the loop when I release something new. Let's get into it. Now before I start I need to point out that the plugins I use in this video aren't necessarily the plugins you need to have to get this sound. All the demonstrations in this video are purely for understanding the principles of making your melodies sound full. I went ahead and recorded a simple chord progression for this tutorial and you can see it has some variation. This is because you want your first melody to be your most colorful in terms of sound. Let me make this a little bigger. This is what it sounds like. If you notice, I have all the bass notes included in the first melody, but we are going to lose these as we move forward. Once you have all that in order, this is what you do. You want to commit or bounce this to an audio file. This isn't something you have to do, but I like to do it because I don't want to use up too much RAM running multiple plugins. Once that's done, you want to make sure that your melody is in a stereo channel. You can go ahead and change all the channels to stereo so that you don't have to worry about it going forward. I know this may be different for different doors because the UIs aren't the same, but the principle is the same. You want it to be stereo so that it can play in both the right and left channel of your mix. Also, I like to rename each channel simply to keep my workspace neat and it makes it easy to identify my sounds in the mixer. Now, what I do after this is make a secondary melody. But the difference now is that I take out the bass notes from the original melody and change the sound of the VST plugin. You want to get something that sounds similar but it has a quality that you can clearly pick out from the two. Just cycle through the sounds and find something you like. This sounds nice together, so I'll stick to this one. Next thing you want to do is make sure the volume of the second melody is lower than the main melody by bringing down the fader until it sounds just right to you. But that's not all. My final addition to all my melodies is always a pad of sorts. For the pad, you want to make sure that the chords are full in length without any variation. So to do this, I remove all the variation notes and stretch them out to be as long as they possibly can be. I then highlight everything and hit the quantize to get everything straight and starting at the same time. Let's go ahead and pick a pad. My go-to lately for pads is IOTA Mini. I love their pads. If you don't know what this is, I have a video on it and how you can download it for free on my channel. Alternatively, you can click this pop-up in the top right corner to watch it. You will want to mute everything and listen to the pad on its own to hear if there are any clashing frequencies. You don't want anything clashing in the mix because it will make your beat sound very muddy.
This note seems to be a little problematic, so I'll remove it altogether. And then I bounce it to audio. An important thing to not forget is to mute all the VST instruments after this step because they will continue playing in the background if you don't. You want to be able to listen to the bounced audio on its own. And this is what it sounds like together. If it's too loud, you can always reduce the volume of the pad by dragging its volume fader down to a point you feel sounds nice to you. And there you have it. You have four chords and you can now add other elements to the beat such as your bass and counter melodies. Just to name a few. Remember, you can always do some fine tuning when you're doing your overall mix and nothing is ever final until you feel it is. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Spotify and stream my latest projects. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like and comment before you head out to make melodies. Also, if you're looking for samples to enhance your next project, you can check out my loop store to get yourself my latest loop pack. All the links are in the description below. Stay making melodies. Peace.